guys, welcome to the video. Right now it is 10, 13 in the morning. And so we do have our first meal of the day, which is breakfast. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, why are you eating breakfast? Because I, I do fast and lately I've been trying, you know, something new. Now I've done this in the past before where I would have like a high fat and high protein breakfast for the first meal of the day. And so what it does, it really helps you set up basically like your neurotransmitters for the day. So dopamine and acetylcholine. So they are basically like the drivers in terms of like focus and brain function and just kind of like drive. So I like having this as the first meal of the day, but this is my pre-workout meal as well. So I was just doing high protein, high fat, but now I've decided to add in some cuties. So we have four of them and I find like just this little dose of fruit actually helps my training performance increase a lot. So what I do have for breakfast here is some 8515 grass fed beef along with 40 grams of cashews and then obviously four of these cuties. So the macros for this meal right here, we are looking at 88 grams of fat, 45 grams of carbohydrates and 93 grams of protein. So let's just dig right in. And so I did season it with some turmeric. We had some cayenne pepper, Celtic sea salt, and some parsley. Mm. Mm. All right, so I know it seems really weird to be eating like say meat and nuts for breakfast, but I highly recommend you guys definitely try it. If you guys have trouble in the morning, say if you eat a breakfast of like carbs or something, and then after it, you're just kind of like super sleepy, you feel tired, you don't want to do anything. And say even like a lot of you guys may have some like desk jobs or something. So you have to be at a desk and then you're, you're struggling to keep your eyes open because you had breakfast and you had like toast or oats or Whatever, say you just had a bunch of carbohydrates and you just feel super tired. I highly recommend that you guys try the meat and nuts breakfast because it'll seriously just give you clear, clean, like brain function throughout the entire day. And it'll really like satiate you. Like you won't be hungry for the entire day. Like I'm eating this meal now, it's 10 a.m. right now, or 10, 18 a.m. And I seriously won't be hungry for the rest of the day. Like I'll go work out, and then I'll eat my next meal maybe around like four o'clock or something. But seriously, like the fats and the protein just keep you full so long and you, you just feel good, you know, like, and I've been really enjoying it because like say even like when I'm working and editing and I'm in a fasted state, it's almost like I'm not my sharpest, but definitely when I have this breakfast right here, it just, I can just work for hours and hours and you know, it's like I'm not thinking about food and I'm not hungry. So it's really nice to, um, just get this meal in and then just be able to get a lot of work done. And so Charles Poliquin was the actual, basically the genius that came up with this meat and nuts breakfast. And he coached a lot of like Olympic athletes. He was seriously a super smart strength coach as well as like nutrition as well. So um, he did actually pass away last year, you know, rest in peace, Charles Poliquin. But he is uh, very, very smart. So if you guys are, you know, have some free time, listen to some podcasts or something by, you know, Charles Pollock, and, and you can learn a lot from him. He's a super smart dude. And so yesterday I did train upper body, which was the same upper body training session I did in the previous bulking update video. And you guys did see how I hit the incline bench. I did 225 for five sets of three. So the workout after that, I did hit five sets of four reps. And then yesterday I ended up hitting five sets of five with 225 on the incline. And just by adding like a little more fruit into my diet from not having any carbs, like pre-workout and breakfast, like seriously my explosiveness and my drive in the movement was just so much faster. Like I felt so much better by just a little bit of carbohydrate. So, and again, I'm not adding a huge amount of carbohydrate. It's just for these little cuties and seriously, it just makes a huge difference. So I'm getting all the fats and all the protein from the solid meal and it doesn't give me like a super low blood sugar drop like, you know, after eating. So just a small amount of carbs and yeah, I'm uh, again, just experimenting once again.
I'm just really trying to find out what works best for my body and what makes me feel the best. All right, and now on to these little cuties here. So they are packed with vitamin C, packed with potassium, and they taste amazing. Mm. They're so fresh. Again, fruit. <laughs> Well, all right, breakfast is down. Now I'm going to get some work done for a few hours and then we're gonna head to the gym. All right, and the homie Cabrera is over here chilling again today. We did kick it yesterday and he vlogged his entire day, so he's uh, just editing right now. Dude, we are forever laughing. I love it, man. I love it. It's so good to just be reunited. Yeah. Yep, and I am working on my video as well. All right guys, so here we are, nice and warmed up. So those are all my warm-up sets. That's what I typically do when I'm working up to a heavy max. So we are going for 310 pounds for five reps. This will be an all-time PR. Let's get it. And the next movement is going to be the rack pull. So we're gonna do five sets of four to six reps here. So we're just gonna do a few warm up sets and then we're gonna to go to our working weight of 500 pounds.
And here's how the physique is currently looking. So this morning we were 211.4 pounds. So that is the heaviest I've been so far during this bulk. So we are still gaining nicely while staying on the leaner end, increasing strength and just enjoying the process. So that is how we are looking. We're making progress and let's keep it on going. All right, my friends, 4.24 p.m. and we are back from the gym. I did stop at the store. I picked up some bananas and I picked up a rotisserie chicken, lemon pepper flavor. So I'm gonna eat this whole thing right here. This thing was only five bucks. And also I do have a sweet potato in the microwave that is cooking. Cabrera's eating, what do you got, some rice cakes? Mm -hmm. Rice cakes, I think he's gonna do what, veggies, the kit, and some chicken. The kit, did yeah. you tell him about the kit? Yeah, the kit, so yeah, we used to call this the kit, so we'd go to Walmart, get this whole package, throw it in, a, we'll actually cook these in the microwave, and then throw it in a pan <laughs> along with chicken, and then some rice, and that would be like the kit. It was, uh, I don't have any rice, so I guess the, the rice cake is going to have to replace the rice. Crunch them up and uh, throw them in there. Yeah, put it in a blender. <laughs> put it in a blender. <laughs> yeah, you have chocolate, chicken, and a uh, veggie stir fry. Ooh, that smells bomb. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the chicken off the bone and place it on this plate right here. So let's go ahead and do that. My friends, we are ready to eat. It is 4.44 p.m. And so this is my second meal of the day. It is my post-workout meal. So we do have 22 ounces of rotisserie chicken, 17 ounces of sweet potato, and we do have 32 ounces of coconut peanut butter on top of the sweet potato there. This is gonna be super good. And then we do have two bananas for some extra micronutrient dense fruit along with like plenty of potassium. So for the macros for this meal, well calories we are looking at 1,963, 90 grams of fat, 157 grams of carbohydrates, and 144 grams of protein. So I really love just getting that rotisserie chicken because it's super easy, it tastes amazing, and it's only like five bucks. So thank you to Walmart for that. <laughs> That is bomb. And I do have this sauce right here. So it is a honey mustard, and it's only 20 calories per serving. So it is super tasty. I don't even think I'm gonna need it on the chicken because this stuff is just so flavorful, especially like the skin too. The skin is super tasty. It's bomb. Mm. Wow, that chicken is <laughs> really good. Let's try the sweet potato with the coconut peanut butter. So this peanut butter was from Hakari from one of my cheat days. She did send me this Hawaiian coconut peanut butter. That stuff is crazy good. Wow. Oh man, it's lit for sure. Yeah, so I was really stoked on today's gym performance. And I'm telling you, just adding a little bit of carbs to that morning meal has made a whole world of difference. It's not like, a crazy amount, you know, it was just a couple pieces of fruit and that was enough to fill my liver glycogen and allow me to train intensely and feel good through my entire workout. So before when I was just doing the high fat meal, I would feel really good, but it was almost like I felt like I was running out of gas, you know, in my gym performance, like my endurance wasn't there. So adding that little bit of fruit to that meal, it seems like it's like the perfect hit.
Oh, it's gonna be a good piece. It's nice and moist. <laughs> Try a little bit of the sauce on like the breast of the chicken, like the white meat. Everything else needs zero sauce at all. It's just so flavorful. But let's try it out on the breast right here. Mm. That stuff is bomb. What's the, uh, yeah, it's like turmeric, mustard seed. Vinegar, yellow mustard, mustard seed. I think I said that right. Oh, the sweetener is too close. So, uh, yeah, it's like a lower calorie brand. But it's good. Let's uh, crack open one of these bananas. Throw it on top of the peanut butter, coconut, sweet potato. That's on the bottom. Carbs on carbs, baby. Like dessert. Ooh. Man, peanut butter banana is so fire. Mm. So that definitely felt good to take a quick dip in the pool. So typically like after I'm done with the gym, I'll come home, I'll eat, and then I'll just work for the rest of the night. But I was sitting there, I was editing, and I was like, you know what, like I, I just don't feel like sitting here. So um, I don't really go swimming that often, but today I just hopped in and uh, definitely felt refreshing. So today's nutrition, what did we eat in terms of calories and macros so our total calories for the day was 3312 calories 178 grams of fat 202 grams of carbohydrates and 237 grams of protein so again i'm still going to play around with my breakfast meal in the morning so i definitely felt really good training in the gym today and again just that little bit of fruit helped me just power through my training and you know, when it's just the fat and just the protein, I can simply have that meal and if I'm just working, that is completely fine. I feel great, you know, but in terms of like performance and endurance, you know, say like training or skating, I'm definitely going to need some carbohydrates in there. So that's what I'm gonna play with for now. So that's typically what my morning breakfast is looking like. It's some type of meat, whether it be like bison or some beef, um, sometimes turkey but i usually like to eat red meat in the morning and then i'll have like macadamia nuts or almond butter or cashews and then it's just basically some cutie so that's what i've been doing for the mornings and i found that i feel so much better i'm able to work a lot longer and it just feels good to uh to stay focused you know so yeah that's uh what my morning routine's been looking like and then typically post-workout again it's going to be some type of meat whether it be chicken i don't really eat fish too often i'll never really cook fish at home like say if i'm going out to dinner sometimes maybe i'll get like salmon or something but yeah i don't eat too much fish it's either like red meat or like some turkey or chicken and again the staple carbohydrates are potatoes and fruits and sometimes rice here and there but you know for like a week and a half almost two weeks i was doing no carbs at all just basically from like the macadamia nuts or the almond butter or whatever it was just basically fats and protein so that was a fun little experiment but for my training to be as optimal as i want i definitely need some carbohydrate in there so from here on out we will be intaking carbohydrates on the daily but yeah i think uh that's going to be the video guys so we did get 310 on the front squat for five reps Super stoked on that. 315 pounds is coming very soon, definitely next week. So yeah, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.